Did you know that there's no limits on what you can learn, know, or do? Your mindset is everything, but you will never know any of these things unless you push your mind, unless you challenge your mind. When you challenge yourself, when you give yourself a challenge, it teaches you your potential. Your potential in life lies right here. You gotta look no further than looking in the mirror and looking yourself in the eye. The important thing here today is I'm gonna issue a challenge that's gonna allow you to understand your own potential. I'm gonna issue a challenge today that's gonna show you how much self-respect that you should have for yourself because at the end of this, you're gonna have earned that self-respect. And that is one of the greatest things that you'll ever earn in this lifetime is self-respect. And it's the greatest respect that you'll ever learn. Because who gives a flying shit about what everybody else thinks about you if you don't feel good about yourself? So you wanna feel good about yourself? You wanna feel fired up to train every day? You wanna feel motivated? A lot of times what's demotivating us in today's world a lot of times the things that are giving us anxiety and the things that are causing depression, the things that are uh, leaving us feeling melancholy from one day to the next and not really feeling like training, a lot of it has to do with the foods that we eat and the sleep that we're not getting. This challenge is a 30-day challenge. I want you guys to join me for World Carnivore Month, which was started by my boy, Sean Baker. I would love for all of you to join in. I started a Facebook group to make this easy. I'm gonna explain all the information over there. This video is not gonna be super informative on exactly what to do. But my Facebook, Facebook group, Mark Bell's Carnivore Challenge, you'll be able to check that out and that'll have all the information on it. Also, my YouTube channel, I'm gonna blog and vlog and post stuff up there every single day along with right here on Instagram, Instagram story and Instagram TV and also on TikTok. I'm gonna post this stuff on Twitter. I'm gonna post this stuff everywhere. I'm gonna talk about it even on my podcast, Mark Bell's Power Project. So please check out all those spots to learn more. But the reason why I want a lot of you to do this, the reason why I want a lot of you men and women to do this is because I have so many people that tell me they can't do it. The second that I mention it, they go, oh, I have a lot of people, even my own wife is like, eh, I'll try it for like a week. A lot of family members are like, oh man, I don't know, a month's a long time. I got a lot of people complaining to me and they're like, well, hey, uh, people's coach, uh, you know, uh, I have kind of a sweet tooth. So uh, we haven't even gotten into day one of the diet and they're already worried. They're already concerned. Look, what lies on the other side of this is too valuable for you to give up. You might think, I can't do that. I'm telling you right now, you can't afford not to do it. You might lose 10 pounds, you might lose 20 pounds, or this might be the one day that changes the rest of your life. Like it has done for so many other people. The war on carbs, the carnivore diet has helped thousands upon thousands of people throughout the United States, throughout the world. I get messages every single day. It is overwhelming, it is unbelievable. You can be part of it. And you don't have to think that, hey, once I, turn my, once I turn myself over to this, that I can't fail. Well, that would be a great mindset and that would be fantastic, fantastic if you didn't fail. But guess who's failed a lot on diets? Whoa! I used to be 330 pounds. I've struggled with food before too. I understand food addiction better than most. My entire family is freaking fat. <laughs> Anybody with the last name Bell has had that real life struggle with their body weight. But I understand, I know what it's like to wake up at 3.30 in the morning and, and rage through the pantry. Now I wake up at 3.30 in the morning and I train. Things have changed, things are different because I'm motivated, I'm fired up, I'm excited. I wake up every morning like I got a rocket up my butt. And the reason is, is because of my diet. My nutrition has played a huge role in that. My nutrition and my sleep go hand in hand. But what people don't realize that they're doing is they're robbing themselves. They're robbing themselves of their time. They're robbing them a, a lot of, in a lot of different ways. They're robbing themselves of their time. They're wasting a lot of time thinking about their food all day. And they're wasting their time preparing their food all day and all weekend and so on. And they're still not in the shape that they want to be in. And then you're robbing yourself of time at the end of your life uh, when you could otherwise be healthier or live a healthier, uh, not just prolonged life, but a healthier life for that entire duration. 
you're really robbing yourself and you're and people end up with depression and anxiety because they're having a hard time with their sleep and their sleep is being robbed because of their food and their food is being compromised because they have poor sleep it's a vicious cycle to get involved in but when you switch over and you turn your life over to mainly eating meat meat heals and that's what i want all of you to find out i am so excited i am so fired up for all of you to join in because i know the results that you're going to get if you want to know about cholesterol and you want to know about blood work and you want to see all that i'm going to unveil all that to you but what i want to tell you right now is most of that stuff is a myth most of that stuff is bs and it's it's great that you guys are concerned about your health you should be but please try to embark on this journey with me here's what i want you to do I would like for you to eat twice a day. If you end up eating three times a day or four times a day, that's okay. I would like you to eat two, let's just say two to three times a day. I want you to do a minimum of three 10 minute walks every day. If you miss one and you only got in one, that's fine. But that these are the goals. We're trying to eat two to three times a day. We're trying to do three 10 minute walks every single day. What else do we need to do? I would love to see you guys get seven or eight hours of sleep every night. Let's try to have that be a focus as well because the sleep is going to play into everything big time. But you're going to find that you're going to sleep better as all this stuff starts to unfold. And every single day, I would like you to do a minimum of 12 hours of fasting. A minimum of 12 hours of fasting. You can calculate that whatever way you want. For me personally, I don't eat until about 2 p.m. every day. 2 or 3 or sometimes even 4 p.m. Uh, for myself, I'm going all in. I'm going full carnivore. I'm eating just meat. Um, I, I am actually gonna ditch coffee because I understand how hard this is for you guys. I understand how difficult this is for you guys. You guys already know how much I love coffee. I'm ditching coffee for the entire month of January. Also, let's get rid of booze, boys and girls. Let's ditch that. We don't need it. Look, we don't need it. We don't need to have something crunchy. You just think that you do. Stop being a wimp. Allow me to take my pimp hand and to wind up and to smack you as hard as I possibly can right across your head to knock some damn sense into you. Guys, I know this sounds crazy. I know this sounds outrageous. Oh, by the way, if you want to add in some vegetables and stuff like that, you can. But I suggest that you use this as an elimination diet. I'm not going to eat vegetables. I'm not going to eat dairy. I'm going to get rid of cheese even, okay? Okay. I love cheese. I love cheeseburgers. I'm getting rid of cheese, okay? The only dairy that I might have in there a little bit is just a little bit of butter because I don't know how to live without butter. But that'll that'll probably be about it in terms of like, you know, what to cook with and stuff. I'll cook with some like beef tallow and things like that if I need it. But guys, I'm going to give you more information. You can check out the Facebook group, check out the YouTube channel, check out everywhere that you can find uh, at Mark Smelly Bell. And I am so excited because this isn't just another day. This is the day. Some people want to put stuff off until tomorrow and say, oh, one day I'll get to that or one day I'll be skinny or one day I'll be fit. Uh, this isn't a day like that. This isn't a oh, one day I'll get to it. This is the one day. One day I decided to do the carnivore diet because Mark Bell challenged me and I lost 80 pounds and I never looked back. How many of you would love to say that? How many of you would love to be able to do that? I've had thousands of people and I'm encouraging you right now. I'm telling you right now that you can do it. No one, nobody, no scientific literature, no scientist, no doctor can tell you your limitations on what you can know learn and do do this with me the carnivore diet strength is never a weakness weakness is never a strength catch you all later Whoosh.